Four people have been killed in two days of clashes between forces of the UN-backed unity government and a rival administration east of the capital, Tripoli. Another 21 people were wounded in the fighting on S Sunday and Monday in Garabuli, about 60 kilometers east of the capital. Two foreign workers, whose nationalities were unclear, were among those killed. Clashes broke out on Sunday evening between forces loyal to the government of National Accord and fighters aligned with former Prime Minister Khalifa Gweli, who refused on the attempts at resolving uh, the leadership tussle in the country. Well, I think uh, this also goes to what we've been saying for a very long time. There is a need for the UN to learn about the U.S. mistakes in uh, Iraq, and so as not to repeat them in Tripoli. Uh, we need to carry everybody along in Tripoli uh, now that the community is beginning to see that they actually made a mistake. This was a, a very prosperous country before. Uh, the Americans and the Allies decided to go there because of the disruptions that brought us to where we are right now. So I believe we must look at the Iraqi mistakes and uh, avoid them so that we should not be coming back to this recurring crisis based on some people in Tripoli saying that the government is illegitimate. We need a round table. We need an inclusive arrangement. The UN must continue to work to make sure that all groups are carried along in Tripoli. All right, peace processes, um, you and I know, have failed repeatedly in, in Libya. Why do you think so? Is it because all the parties involved have not been brought to a round table to talk about the issues? Uh, well, it has to be an ongoing process. There is no end in all meetings that should occur. You have to continue to go on. Don't forget, when, uh, just like it happened in Baghdad, after the overthrow of King Idris, Gaddafi sought then to build uh, a power block that included mostly those people from eastern Libya, those from the Benghazi area that served King Idris. And uh, those people need to be in a government in which there is an inclusion of uh, the Gaddafi faction also for us to have peace. That are the two major blocks we believe must be fully be represented in any government and not to recreate the old crisis in Iraq where everybody who worked with Saddam Hussein in the Ba'ath Party was driven away and uh, you now had uh, uh, a Shia uh, assemblage of its very best and then uh, what we had was uh, that the crisis and uh, the feeling of alienation and exclusion uh, forcing uh, the Sunnis to form ISIS and then we now got to where we are in Mosul. So I believe the right way for the UN is to continue to include those who thought they were not putting government in the new formations and not to allow for any action that is based on anger or hate from one side against the other. Bring the people who were there and those who were not there together and continue to work at it. It's the only way for us to stop this. Luckily, Libya is not as uh, dangerous as Iraq was after the overthrow of Saddam Hussein. We should not allow it to escalate and de-escalate to actually something that will become unmanageable. Cash, you talk about bringing people together, but in a country where people and militias organize themselves according to regional and uh, tribal alliances. What persuasion tax tactics do you deploy to achieve that? That's why I'm telling you this. I recognize that there are those militias built as, uh, based on tribal alliances. So you have to look at the alliances that were there from the Benghazi area. And the alliances that were there that we have put together in the ruling coalition that governed with, uh, 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 what's his name, Mr. Gaddafi. Don't forget, it was so bad after the overthrow of King Idris that at the time of overthrow of Gaddafi, 57% of the Libyan population lived in Tripoli. So that told you, that was why Eastern Libya was left in this prepare where the infrastructure fell apart. And a lot of division was actually created by the Gaddafi government. 
Now that this has come about, what we must do to bring Libya back is to undo what Gaddafi had done, but maintaining his own people, not to repeat the mistakes we had All right. in Iraq, bring the people who were in government and those who were out of government. All right. Let them be forced to work with each other. This is the only way we can achieve peace and prevent the tribal-based militias that continue to sabotage intentions towards peace. All right, security expert, Kash. Onanuju, thank you very much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you for having me.